Hello and welcome everyone to another beautiful episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to fetch the data for menus from GraphQL from WordPress backend. Now we're going to learn about how to provide that data to our components so our components can render that data onto the header and for the menus. Yep. Yeah? So how do we do it? Well, so let's look at the data fetching methods in next year. So what are the options we have available? Well, we have get static props, we have get static parts, uh, we have the get server side props. Okay, which one should we go for? So if you take a look, uh, get static props is going to fetch the data at the build time, which is great. Okay. However, the get server side props is going to fetch the data on each request. Hmm. That's not good, right? I don't want the data to be fetched uh, every time the user hits the URL, let's say, slash about or slash contact us. I want the data to be available, which means I want the pages to be available, uh, generated statically by Next.js. So these two methods actually are the ones which are, uh, you know, which helps us in static generation of the pages. I think we would go with this one because then I will have my page already available. Uh, beforehand uh, so just like how Gatsby is it it gets the data at the build time so the page is already ready when the when the user actually hits the URL so that's really good because it's just static HTML files so the performance will be amazing so let's stick to this one uh, but you must be wondering how do we actually uh, update the data how do we make it dynamic right <music> So one of the benefits of using Next.js, which they have come up with this feature in the recent versions, is having the ability to first pre-render the data and generate the static pages. And then later on, when the data changes, to go ahead and update those static HTML pages. Okay, so we're going to talk about that, about that in a moment. But let's continue with how to get this in action. All right. So I'm going to go to the get static props. So take a look here. It says that you can export the asynchronous function inside of it so that it can pass the data to your components as props. So how do we do it? Let's take a look. There's an example. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of I'm gonna copy this over here. And I'm going to go to my index.js. So let's close all of this. And I'll go to pages, index.js and I'll just export. So besides exporting your index, you also need to export the get static props. And this is where we're going to query our stuff, yeah? So how do we do it? Well, in Apollo, you can only you can not only query client side, but you can also query server side. So how do we do that? So we're going to say const okay, and this is going to give us the data when we receive it and then it's also going to have loading and then it'll have network status. Okay, and then we'll do async await. So we'll say await. So we already have asynchronous, so we'll just go with await and then we'll say new. And then we're going to pull the client from Apollo. So we have hit here dot query. So this is the server side query. And if you remember, we had created the Apollo client instance here, right? And we're exporting the Apollo client here and just gonna hit the WordPress site URL at slash GraphQL, right? So that's what we're using. We're using that Apollo uh, client and then we're able to access the query method which will allow us to query it. So what do we pass inside of the query? Well, we need to pass the query, of course. So where is our query? Well, the best part is that we've already got our query ready to use, which is get menus, isn't it? And we've already exported here. So all I have to do is just import it and use it there. So that'll be get menus, get menus, and that's it. And you must have observed that it's pulled that from this particular file. So we had exported it over here. This is our query. And then we're just using that query inside of client.query from Apollo. Okay, and all I'm gonna do now is just do con just do console and then data and let's see what we get inside of it. And this won't be new because we've already inst we have already uh, you know initialized the client, so we don't need the new over here. So I'm just removing that. Okay, so let's hit it 
now server started and now there are two ways you can see this data that we have just consoled so we console the data here right okay now if you check you've got the header menus data and then we've got a footer menus data of course it doesn't look right because uh, you know it's not pro properly formatted but yeah we've got the header and footer menus yeah which is great so all I have to do is just pass that to our components how do we pass it well you need to pass that in the props as you can see it says props will be passed to the page component as props so what I'm going to do is come over here in the props and where is where is this data so it's data is data dot header menus dot edges data dot footer menus dot edges yeah so why don't we just do one thing we just pass the we can say header menus data dot header menus dot edges and similarly for footer menus so for footer menus we can have data dot footer menus which is this one dot edges yeah because it's inside of the edges which is great and then this will be passed to the component as props so all I can do is just come over here and inside of the index just pass it or what we can do is I think it'll be better to just put this inside of menus that'll be better I think menus and then like so okay so we can just simply pass that as menus all right let's console it menus menus let's take a look let's go back refresh see what happens all right congratulations bang on so we've got a footer menus you can see we've got a footer menus all of the data in the front and we also got the uh, you know header menus as well which is amazing because now I can actually pass this to our component so I can create like a layout component and pass uh, you know the menus items to my layout component which is amazing great so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already okay and do give star to my repository so you can go to the next year's headless WordPress and give star to my repository and please do follow me on github my github handle is Imran H. Sayed and uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.